guys. Good morning and welcome to today. Today Gabby and I are out shopping for shavings because we needed shaving for Chino stall and we uh, didn't get any yesterday. And everywhere around us is kind of closed on Sunday but we're at PV Mart which is uh, equivalent to TSC in the States. They've changed the name to PV Mart. I guess the guy named PV must have bought it and I also want to get a salt lick holder because I need one for our barn. So we'll see if they're there. Got all the winter things ready. Oh, need one of these? Need one of those for the winter? No. Overalls? No. Yeah, that come in handy. 129. Take an additional 30% off of that. Here's a vest. Noble Outfitter vest. I already have a warm vest. Look at that vest though. Yeah, it's Noble Outfitters. That's pretty heavy duty. Probably goes with this thing. There's a coat. Nice coat. Alright, we're looking for something that I need for the salt. Oh, here it is. Salt. Salt mineral block holder. How much is it? That's bigger than the one I have. 9.5 liters. Cold. That's like for a big salt block. You got this one. Though. Put one. Put one in there. See if it's... the one I got for Chino at the barn is way smaller than that. Oh no, it's about the same size. No, it isn't. I can't lift it up. Uh, all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> Gabby's struggling here. Can't lift up the salt block. All right, just leave it. Yeah. Just leave it. It's 20 kilograms. It's 20 kilograms. 44.1 pounds. 44 pounds. That's it. Yeah. You're going to have to, like, I'm going to have to buy a bunch of these and we'll have to exercise in the barn this winter. Carrying salt blocks. Carrying salt blocks to the back and forth in the barn. There you go. That's a shepherd's cane. We got some sheep. You can herd them with that. No, you need this. I need that to walk, yeah. Seems then it looks like I'm, uh, oh, this is not very sturdy. Look, know, look at that. Like it's like plastic. Here you go. Let's see if there's another salt blocker in here. All right. Oh, look at these. Collapsible sink. Collapsible. It's just like the collapsible bucket. This is perfect for our attack trunk. For shows and stuff and we need something to wash these are perfect it's just like a collapsible bucket collapsible thing they're 23 dollars and they're perfect for shows and you can make them as big as you want like you don't have to have it that big this isn't the collapsible sink it's the collapsible bucket well is it the bucket the bucket, the oh, so there's two. So this is a collapsible sink and that is a collapsible bucket. Let's see what the difference is. So there's a the collapsible sink and there's a collapsible bucket. Which one would be better? This is good as like a watering bowl, maybe. That's that's perfect for the for our tack trunk. You can store it easily in our tack trunk, lots of room, make it as big as you want. Cool. All right, let's find out how much this thing is. I was checking Chino's stall today and I noticed he went through that salt lick really quick. It's half gone already. Now I have to buy a new salt lick. Did you notice? Chino's salt lick is half gone already? Oh, in a stall? Yeah. Yeah. He eats a lot of salt. What's that? It's a feed it says bucket. tough stuff. Oh, that's a cool feed bucket. Well, it says twist. Turn the top. There you go. All right. Oh my god. Oh, there you go. That's There's big heavy duty feed bucket. I don't know if we would ever have enough feed to store there, but that would kind of last like months. Chicken Maybe feed. your mom needs that for the chickens. Look, it's for horses, dogs, chickens, cows, cats, and birds. That'd be a lot of bird seed in there. That's cool. It's got this little lock thing here. You just turn it and it locks right in. Not nothing can get in it. And you then can it's hold got these... the cool handles. No, no, this is the other thing that locks it. Oh. It locks it even tighter. I thought I there's think. cool handles. 
<laughs> Gabby thought these were going. Maybe they don't work. No, I think they do. Oh yeah, they do. See? Makes it even sturdier. You just need strength. You, if you can't do 40 kilograms, if you can't do 44 pounds, you're not going to be able to pull that closed and we're going to be screwed because all the mice and rats will get in there. It's bear proof then? Yeah, it's, it probably is bear proof. Yeah, look, now they have black. I was noticing these black feet pans. Where were they when we needed one for Chi? We actually need one for Gracie. Gracie, because she chews a hole in all of them. Yeah, Gracie chews a hole in them. All right, let's see how much that pan is. Even this might be just put the salt block on that. Well, it keeps it off the ground. That's all you want. Here are some heated, heated two, gallon. two gallon buckets. This will come in handy. But we need a little bit bigger for our horses yeah, in their stall. Five gallon. Five gallon heated? Oh, yeah. oh, there's five gallon heated there. And there's the big one. But we're going to need these for the stalls. This here, we only have one. This might be good for the and little. It's this, big. this might be good for the mini. Maybe too small. Bigger. It's really annoying. Yeah, really annoying. Oh, it's not squeaky. It's not a squeaky one? No. Cool. We're in the dog toy section. Lots of dog toys. Lots of dog toys. We have too many dog toys at home already. But you know what? You they should develop here a dog toy pylon. But that's what Molly loves, her pylon. Yeah. And they don't have a dog toy pylon. They should make a like a like like a Kong pylon. Kong, if you're watching, make a pylon for dogs. That don't break. They have ducks, they got Nerf. Nerf makes stuff, so maybe Nerf would make a pylon. Alright, we're gonna get going because we came here for shavings. And we're going to see how much this is, because uh, at Greenhawk, I think these are only like $20. It's like $20. $20 at Greenhawk for one of these feeders. Well, it looks smaller. How but they have the price there? We will check this one out and see how much it is. If not, I'll just wait and go to Greenhawk. All right, so that block was $26. That's right there? Prob yeah. That's probably normal price. Gabby wants a little uh, motorbike. No, she wants this. What am I kidding? A little go kart. Well, Molly had that, and it goes fast. Yeah. Well, they have a regular ADV back there. Here's the shavings we're gonna get. The shavings. I can't believe the price of shavings here. Like nine dollars for a bag of shavings. Usually, when you buy bulk shavings. It's way cheaper, and where we buy it at the livestock store, it's cheap. Quality, yep, the white bag. Okay, right just grab those ones though. These are bad. So just break the break the just break the thing open, and we'll get it. Just two bags, anyways. Yeah, rip that thing apart. Need help. Oh, you're gonna break the bag. You just broke the bag. Quick, put it back. Put it back. We don't want a broken bag. Okay, no, we can use it. We can use it. Just put one on top of that. How many pounds is that? Does it say? Is it too heavy for you? 78 liters. Doesn't say how many pounds. I'm gonna say that's about like 30 pounds, maybe. That's good, like that. No, don't put it in. You'll never get it out. You're just going to break the bag. All right. Give me that. You take that. I'll take that. And we'll get going. As I was saying, at our livestock store, the shavings are way cheaper. They're around $7, $6.80, $7. Sometimes $9. You can't see me in the sun. Sometimes $9. So. Sometimes $6. And Gabby's having trouble back there. Wait, I got it. You got it? You're having problems today, let me tell you. Here, I'll help you. Hang on. I got it. Gotta be some problems. There we go. Now, you, now because it dropped, it stuffed it more in the cart. We'll never get it out. 
I'll be leaving the cart there and getting two other bags. <laughs> oh, you're gonna have problems. You want me to get it out? No, I almost got it. Let me get it out. Let me get it out. Let me get this one out first. But this, one's... this one's probably gonna be out first. We'll both lift at the same time, okay? I put the camera down. All right, we'll see if it works. The camera there. All right, ready? Yep. Go. Oh my gosh, I just opened this bag more. I think we'll be leaving the cart with the two bags of shavings. Yeah, lift that one. It's coming out, it's coming out. All right. It's not tall enough for that one. All right. Oh, now you got it, now you got it. Now you got it, all right. You got it? All right. There you go, put it right on top of the... Right on top of there. Hopefully it doesn't dump out on the oh, car because it's a ripped bag of shavings. Yeah. Nobody likes a ripped bag of shavings. Realized I'm good at stacking carts. Sign me up to work at Walmart. And you have to work at Walmart stacking yeah, carts? Yeah, the cart stacker. I'm not good at pushing them all, but... Oh, well they have a little robotic machine that you, and it'd be fun. I think that would be fun. They never had that when I was like working They also at, have a rope that they tie to the front. Yeah, this is hold them so they don't leave. Yeah. So there you go, Gabby found out what she's good at. She's good at cart. Yeah, cart. pushing them all together, like stacking them up. Pusher. So she would have to work at Walmart as one of those cart pushers. All right, we're back home and we had to stop at the grocery store because Laura needed some stuff. But look what I got. Got some cool burgers to put on the grill. Cheese burgers. We'll cook that for supper. Nice out. Just hope I have enough propane. Now we got the shavings and we're gonna put the shavings in Chino stall. Yep, that's the open one. Can you tell? <laughs> it's a ripped bag. Summer. You might have to use the whole bag in a stall. And I'm gonna put these this block in for the horses. Gabby's complaining and saying they just break well, easily. Just well, that was your fault by throwing it in the cart though. The horses are like, what, are we going out already? No, it's uh, sleep time. It's sleep time now. I got you just a new toy. Got you one of these things. So I'm going to put it there. And I'm going to put that block on there. Can I do it with one hand? Nope. Nope, can't do it with one hand. And there you have it. It's all set up. I still think Green Hawks was cheaper. It must have been like $14, $15 plus tax. So... That is definitely ten dollars more, but it's bigger too. It's a different company brand too. So, but oh well, had to get it, needed it. So, there you go, Chino. Lots of shavings for you. Lots of shavings for you. You just have a rest now, okay? And you can go out later. Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. Today, actually, it's afternoon. It is afternoon, and I wanted to tell you guys that we've been busy. We have a new girl in the family. We have purple girl. I love it. Let's see. She's had her hair done all all day, and it's starting to kind of like fall out a little bit. But she curled it herself. She dyed it herself. Yes, I know. Kind of gave up halfway though. Did you? It looked really good this morning, and she did her makeup. No, when we dyed it. Oh. Yeah, I helped her get the last of it to make sure that it went through. It's just a temporary dye. And you can see like a lot of the blonde coming through. But that makes it look even better, I think. It's cold. What's cold? This house. Oh my gosh, it's hot. I'm cold now. Uh, you guys know that I said that we'd be doing a bunch of baking. While we'd be baking, we made some fudge. I made some apple cake. I actually made two of them, but some people have been eating them. I have more in the oven. So yeah been a productive but kind of lazy Sunday. Just spending the day baking is pretty unproductive for me. Usually I do like a lot in a day. But anyway, I wanted to show you guys that before we get going on our next project, Sophie wants to show you guys something. I've been exposing the girls to different crafts and different things that they can do that are like that they might be interested in. And I like to do that because it's good to be exposed to so many different things. Basically, mostly we're doing the things that Sophie likes. I told Gabby that the next art thing that we do will be something that she chooses. But anyways, one of the things that we did was punch embroidery. And then I started like doing some regular embroidery and I, fall, and I have fallen in love with it. So I did this letter S. It's not done. I did this yesterday. 
and it's not perfect by any means but I used to do embroidery when I was younger like I was 10 probably and I got an embroidery kit I hated it it was the most boring thing but now I am like it's so peaceful anyway like I said it's not perfect I have a lot to learn but I've been really enjoying that so Sylvie wants to put Miss Trixie the dragon in a pumpkin and take pictures of her she doesn't like being in a pumpkin she doesn't. Sam also went out with Gabby today and brought back some baby pumpkins. There's so, this one and then the cuter one. That's the cuter one? Yeah. How so can it's you, mine. How can you tell which one's cuter? Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely cuter, but it doesn't have a stem. It's definitely so funny for me to see how like both of my girls got into makeup right at 13. Like Gabby got makeup for her 13th birthday and Sylvie's on the very verge of turning 13. Oh. This is her birthday month. I saw a TikTok a while ago of someone holding their bearded dragon and there was a lot of bugs in their house. So they just pointed their bearded dragon towards the bugs and they ate them all. Yeah, I don't Trixie think- Trixie didn't eat them. Yeah, I don't think she'd do that. We are gonna try and put a dragon in the pumpkin. So let's see how this she goes. She blends in with it. So yeah, really she blends in with it. It's okay, yeah. you like a nice dark, oh look at her, she's turning black. She's like, I don't know about this. <laughs> there you go. There you go, she's in the, oh you should get your phone out. Mm, my phone's over there, I don't want to go around. You should, and take some pictures, that's why we did this. There we go, Trixie. <laughs> in a pumpkin. Hi Trix. We should go put a chicken in the pumpkin now. We yeah. should make call this video putting all of our animals in a pumpkin. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> there, there we go. <laughs> she just hops right out. <laughs> she doesn't fit. But she's so cute. This would be such a oh such a good spot for a chicken if you needed to like cut their nails or something. Jump out. Jump out. You don't have to stay. <laughs> she doesn't fit. I bet you if we left this pumpkin out here, they'd just eat it and Skrillex just love like, it. Where's my egg at? <laughs> it is actually really cold outside. Not really cold, but like colder than it has been. Which is why I've been hiding out baking inside. The horses are patiently awaiting to go out for their afternoon four nights nap. And they heard me, so now they're making all this noise. <laughs> yes, I'm here. I'm here to let you out. You ready? Willow ready? Willow? You ready? Where's Penny? You ready? Ready to go out and have some dinner? Before bedtime? Yeah, alright. Let me get the gate. Hopefully I'm gonna open this gate and they're not gonna rush me. And there they go. There you go, go with your girlies. And there he goes. I find his lost little girls, they're out there together. He usually goes to find Gracie, but Gracie's like by the fence. Oh, well, that was it. That was interesting. Well, that's it for today's lazy Sunday afternoon video, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't you know that you're beautiful?